Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a brief tutorial in Rhino 7. I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a rectangular chain link. Now, this is similar to the one I did earlier, although the one I did earlier was a round chain link. So what we're going to do is open up Rhino 7. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to use Gumball a lot more. So we'll go ahead and um, create small object in, inch, in inches. Oh, wait a minute. I think I actually did feet. So let's just go ahead and do new. Small objects in inches. Make sure that we got it correct there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and turn on our grid snaps. Make sure everything is on. We're going to go ahead and create a circle. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and click on the circle. With the Alt key held down, we're going to grab the red arrow. We're going to move it over. It's going to give us a copy. That's one handy tr trick of a uh, gumball. Uh, so you don't have to type copy in the command line. We'll go ahead and do a polyline from the quad there to tangent quad there. Go ahead and click on the pointer to, oh, actually, got to do that again. Go from quad to quad, right mouse click. We'll right mouse click to start the function over again. Go from quad to quad, right mouse click. Now we're going to go ahead and type in trim in the command prompt. We're going to drag a marquee around all of this. We're going to right mouse click and we're going to remove the inside circle. We're going to hit the pointer tool. This is going to be our link. So now we want to go ahead and type in pipe in the command prompt. Hit enter. We want to type this multiple and then we want to go ahead and select all of the links or all of the uh, pieces. Right mouse click. I'm going to go ahead and click there. Drag up. That looks good. We're going to click again and then it's going to create our link for us. So now we want to go ahead and go over here and we want to go to view. And then we want to say rendered. Okay, this is going to be our first link. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, copy another link. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in zoom in the command prompt. We're going to zoom dynamic. And we're going to make this a little bit smaller so we can make a copy here. So we'll go ahead and select this. We're going to go ahead and hold the Alt key down, grab this red, and we're going to just, let's just move this over to here. Oops. Click. Okay, we'll move that over to there. Now we're going to go ahead and grab that red arrow there, and we're going to rotate this so it's straight up and down in our right view. Go ahead and click. Okay, now we want to go ahead and select. Let's uh, zoom. Let's. Sorry about that. Right mouse click. Let's zoom over on this. We're going to go ahead and drag a marquee around that one that we just created. We're going to grab the red arrow. And we're going to just move it over. Right there's good. Okay, that's going to be our first link. Uh, now to create another one with Gumball, just go ahead and drag a marquee around both of these. You're going to hold down the Alt key. You're going to grab the red arrow and just kind of drag on over. Right there. There's our link. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. The last one I did was a little bit longer. Um, and then you would just repeat the process however long you want the chain link to be. Okay, that's um, the last thing we're going to do here is add a texture to this. Uh, your materials palette should be open here on the right. If it's not, come up here to panels. Just go ahead and make sure there's a check mark next to materials. <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and hit a select a plus. We're going to open up this import from material library. We're going to go to metal, double click on metal. We're going to say polish, double click on that. And we're going to go polish brass, double click on that. Now we're going to come into the perspective window. We're going to drag a marquee on all these links that we just created. We're going to right mouse click on the material. And at the top here, we're going to say assign to uh, 
objects. Okay, this is going to be our chain link. Um, only other thing you could do is if you wanted it to look a little better, you could import uh, nether material. You could come down here, slide down, open up the wood texture, grab an African teak, assign that to your uh, background. So now you have a nice little chain link. Um, if you were to print this uh, with support, you just have to wash out the support and then you have an actual chain to use. Uh, if you were lucky enough to be able to have access to a printer that uses uh, powdered aluminum or powdered stainless steel, you could actually make a function in chain, uh, which is really nice. So, okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching and you found something useful out of this video. And thanks again for watching.